tell us how to evaluate with a calculator. This is 3 power 14 minus 3 power 12. So the first step is to express this 14 as product of 2 and 7. So we have 3 power 2 times 7 minus this is product of 2 and 6. We have 3 power 2 times 6. Now, if you have a power n times n equals a power n power n. We apply this right here and here. So what we are going to have will be 3 power 2 raised to the power of 7 minus 3 power 2 raised to the power of 6. From here, 3 power 2 equals 3 times 3, that is 9. So we have 9 power 7. And notice it's 9 power 6. Now we can express this 7 as summation of 6 and 1. 9 power this is 6 plus 1. Minus 9 power 6. So if you have a power n plus n, this equals a power n times a power n. So we apply this right here. So you can have 9 power 6 times 9 power 1 minus 9 power 6. So right now we have 9 power 6 here. We have 9 power 6 here. We can factor that out. We have 9 power 6 times this divided by 9 power 6. We have 9 minus this divided by 9 power 6. We have 1. From here, we have 9 power 6 times 9 minus 1. We have 8. So we need to find the value of 9 power 6 times 8. So, remember 9 is 3 power 2. So we have 3 power 2 to the power of 6 times 8. And if you have a power n times n, this equals a power n or to the power of n. So that means we are simply going to have this is 3 power 2. This will be 2 times 6. That is 12. We have 3, 3 power of 12 times 8. And we can express this as 3 to the power of 12 is summation of 10 and 2. times 8. So if you have a power n plus n equals a power n times a power n. We apply this right here. So we are simply going to have 3 power 10 times 3 power 2 times 8. So we need to find the value of 3 power 10. So we can have 3 power 10 equals 3 power 5 times 2. And remember, if you have a power n times n equals a power n all to the power of n. So this will be 3 power 5 all to the power of 2. And from here, 3 power 5 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That is 243. It's 1 times 3. That is 243. We have 243 to the power of 2. From here, this means we are going to have 243 times 243. So at this particular point, we have 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 4, 12, 2 carry by 1. 3 times 2, 6, 6 plus 1, we have 7. 
4 times 3, 12, 2 carry over 1. 4 times 4, 16 plus 1, 17, 7 carry over 1. 4 times 2, 8, 8 plus 1, you have 9. 2 times 3, 6. 2 times 4, 8. 2 times 2, we have 4. So, this is 9, 4, 20, 0, carry over 1, I carry over 2, 1, out here. 11, 11 plus 8, 19, 9, carry over 1, out here. 5, 90, 4, 9. So this is 5949 times 3 power 2. That is 9 times 8. So let's start by multiplying this out. We have 5949 times 9. 9 times 9. We have 81. 1 carry over 8. 9 times 4, 36, 36 plus 8, 44. We have 4 and carry over 4. Then we have 9 times 0, 0, 0 plus 4. We have 4. Then we have 9 times 9 again, we have 81. So we have 1 and carry over 8. We have 9 times 5, that is 45, 45 plus 8, that is 53. So we have 5, 3, 1, 4, 4, 1. So this is what we got by multiplying this by 9. The next thing will be for us to multiply it by 8 again. So we are simply going to have 5, 3, 1, 4, 4, 1 times 8. So we have 8 times 1, 8, 8 times 4, 32, 2 carry over 3, 8 times 4 again, 32, 32 plus 3, 35, 5 carry over 3, 8 times 1, 8, 8 plus 3, 11. So you have 1 and carry over 1. 8 times 3, 24, 24 plus 1, 25, 5 carry over 2. 8 times 5, we have 40, 40 plus 2, we have 42. So this simply means we are going to have 4, 2, 5, 1, 5, 2, 8. That is 4,251,528. So guys, this is it without the use of calculator. So we can say that 3 power 14 minus 3 power 12, which is the same thing as writing 9 power 7 minus 9 power 6 is 4 million 251,528 so this is what we have gotten without the use of calculator so guys let me see step by step a quick recap of what we have done so far the first step is for you to express 14 as product of 2 and 7 and 12 as product of 2 and 6. Then you can make use of a power n times m equals this. So you have 3 power 2 or power 7. 3 power 2 is 9, so you have 9 power 7 minus 9 power 6. You express 7 as summation of 6 and 1 because we have 6 here already. Then you use this identity a power n plus m equals a power n times a power m. After that, you have this, so you can factor out 9 power 6, which is common on both sides. So you have 9 power 6 times 8. You express this in terms of 3, so that you can easily find the value of 3 power 2, which is 9, or power 6, which is 12. That means you have 3 power 12. You do know the value of 3 power 12, you insert it and multiply it by 8. But if you don't, 
what you need to do is to find the value of therefore 10 plus 2, which is the sentence 12 because 10 plus 2 is 12. Then you apply this identity again, a power n times a power m equals a power n plus n. Then you find the value of the power 10. Then you, if you don't know it, you start break it down into 3 power 5 times 2. Then you are going to have 5, 90, 4, 9. You insert it here, multiply by 9. So this will give you 5, 3, 1, 4, 4, 1, which is the equivalent of 3 power 12. Then you multiply by 8 and have your answer. So guys, that is how you can solve this step by step. And don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you and see you again.